Welcome back. Adventures in Metals here. Got this stack of computers I'm going to break down and uh, show you. Alright, so let's get to it. Finally getting to the good stuff. The good thing about computers is they're much easier to take apart and they're much more higher yield as far as precious metal recovery goes than a lot of other things I've been showing you guys. So. I'm excited about that. And this is an old Gateway 2000, which I'm really excited about because the older computers tend to have more gold from what I understand. All the stuff 2000 and earlier. Taking out this first one, so you got some nice gold fingers there. There's some gold plating there, gold connectors there. Nice looking uh, integrated circuit. And these are integrated circuits too. These uh, little yellow capacitors here. I wonder if those are tantalum. There's a crystal. Those have gold on them. Plastic transistors have uh, tend to have gold plating on the uh, on the pins there. No gold plating on the back, but there's gold fingers there. It'll be gold. In these pins same story here always nice gold pins in the uh, cat5 connection there's a more technical term for it I can't remember another off uh, not a crystal oscillator it has the two pins crystal oscillators have four four connections that just has two so it's just a crystal and there's a couple uh, MLCC's there a couple dip capacitors I'm not exactly sure what those are but I'll save them anyway. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> what we're looking at here is an actual dial-up modem PCI, PCI card. So this has got some nice integrated circuits on it. And look at the size of these MLCCs. See those? Right there and right there. I've never seen MLCCs that big. This one's even got a transformer on it. Nice copper in there. Always gold pins on the, the phone connections. Always with the gold fingers. Telecom stuff tends to have a high yield of gold on it. That'll have silver contacts on it. And it actually looks like there's some faint gold plating on there too. Did not expect that. Pretty cool.
CD-ROM drive. You can see some gold on those connectors there. There's always gold in the in the reader. There's always money in the banana stand. No touch, no touching. I'll break that down too. I'll put them all together and break them down. But that will be part of another video. Ten minutes and I have the whole thing apart pretty much. Got some tantalum right there, tantalum right there. Tarantula! Silver oscillator. Bunch of nice IC chips. Wow, I don't see any gold on these connectors here. That makes me sad. These ones definitely do, but it doesn't look like very high grade. Those got some nice gold plating, those two. These don't. And there is some decent looking gold plating in here. Let's see what we got. Wait for it, wait for it. Look at all that tarantula. Melee. Nice pins on there. I don't know that writing means anything to me. I just started doing it like I said. Gold pins there. Those look like some pretty decent ones. Yeah, very nice. Oh, can't leave those in there. If you don't know what I'm talking about. These connectors here, those have gold. Possibly gold on the other end too, but I'll clip them both both ends off anyway. Same story with this. Boom. So I ended up taking one of the the connectors from the other end of uh, one of these part, and yep. it, that's got some right nice gold plating on it. Next up, I got some kind of Dell. Uh, I don't know, it's got Windows, had Windows 7 installed according to the sticker there. So I'm guessing this is sometime around 2010. But I'm not going to film this, it's pretty much the same as the last one. So all these are going to be pretty much the same, so I'll just uh, collect everything and uh, give you a rundown when I'm all done. Alright, see you then. Hold the power supply out and uh, these white connectors don't look like they have any... Uh, gold plating but the black connectors definitely do so I'm gonna snip those off and keep those got this panel off the front where the uh, USB and uh, phone jack and mic jacks are connected so I'll show you that as I take it apart Looking from here, I could definitely see there's some nice gold pins in this. So that's pretty cool. Okay, just gonna leave that there. I just want to get that out of the way. We'll look at the processor last. Uh, similar stuff as the last motherboard. Another processor there. There's some small NLCCs. All those will have gold plated connectors, gold connectors, and the USB connectors there. Let's take a look at the processor. No gold pins, just uh, gold plating there. 
because that's the way it is with the newer ones. This is the older one, this is the newer one. There's a bunch of tiny MLCCs on there. Not sure if those are magnetic or non-magnetic. The non-magnetic tend to have uh, palladium and silver. The magnetic ones have more uh, nickel, which is why they're attracted to a magnet weekly. Put that right there in my pile of uh, CPUs. Yeah, and all those connections in there are gold plated, but they're not not really as nice as the other ones. All right. On to the next one. All right, what's next? These last two are both bells. Oh no, wait, this is an e machines, not a Dell. This had uh, Windows XP on it, so that's a good sign. We got any dates on here? I'm not seeing any. Okay, the take from uh, the C machines. Got some uh, nice gold fingers on this modem PCI board. Some dip capacitors, a uh, silver crystal, little IC chip there, gold pins there. Of course, RAM is always a score. That's got some nice fingers. Some nice ICs and gold plating on the board itself, both sides. It's pretty cool. CD-ROM drive, DVD-ROM drive, actually. Here's some connections uh, in the front. In front of the computer, the USB port. And maybe that's a compact flash. Is that a SD? I don't know, maybe. Okay. I'll end up taking this apart. And of course, power supply. So I'm just gonna save all the save all the power supplies and uh, and I'll put them up put them up on eBay. Uh, of course, we got the ribbon cables. Those have nice connectors in those. Of course, the motherboard. All the usual suspects. Gold, gold. I guess these these batteries. Uh, have some precious metals, I forget exactly what. A couple oscillator, or excuse me, silver crystals. One, two, three. An icy there, an icy there. Gold pins here, gold pins there, gold pins there, gold pins there, 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 there. Not there probably, not there probably. Let's see what the back looks like. Again, not really much. Some M MLCCs there, and of course, the processor, the CPU. You could tell that this is uh, in between the dates on this. It still still has pins on it, so it's they're not quite as big as pins on these, but they're better than these, which is just flat connections. It's probably some nice. Uh, integrated circuit under there, but I'll leave that for when I start uh, depopulating these boards, and we'll see then. This uh, front panel uh, panel part uh, where the USB connection was, and that slot where I thought was uh, might have been a CF card. Oh yeah, it says CF right there, yep, compact flash. That's got some really nice gold pins. Nice little processor there. Or, uh, integrated circuit, some MLCCs. That's a nice little board. Definitely more gold in there. Not quite as nice as this gold, but I see it. And the last one. This is another Dell. But it's got Windows XP Home Edition on it, so... I'm guessing somewhere in the mid 2000s. All right, got all the goodies out of that Dell computer. And I have to say, 
<laughs> that was the most annoying computer I've taken apart out of all four of those. Very non-intuitive. But anyway, okay, start with the uh, PCI slots. That was just one. That was another uh, another modem card. Same deal as the other stuff. More RAM, not as nice as the last RAM, but it'll do. Uh, the front front panel board with the uh, USB connections. There's gold gold plating there. Yeah, you get the drift so far. Okay, this one even had a hard drive in it. This is my first hard drive scrapping, so uh, it's a Western Digital. So I'll take that apart with the, uh, the CD-ROM drives in another video. Set. Not one, but two CD-ROM drives. Uh, one's, one was just a read-only, and uh, one was a CD writer. Not only did it have two CD drives in the hard drive, but wait for it, wait for it, it also had one of these. A floppy drive. Bet you haven't seen one of those in a long time. Very cool. Of course, another power supply. Goes in the power supply pile. And the motherboard, of course. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, I bet you've seen enough of that. Here's the processor. It's got fingers, or, you know, pins. But it's kind of like this guy here, but smaller. And it has the MLCCs in the middle. Still nicer than this one, probably. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, that about wraps it up. Got a nice nice score here. Oh, and of course, you know, ribbon cables. Ribbon cables and various connectors. Blah, 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 blah. If you've seen all these before. Okay, so. Pretty nice score today. Of course, I had this stuff sitting around. All the RAM and... PCI cards right there. There are the uh, the motherboards, four motherboards there. All the fans and power supplies, all the drives. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.